What is good YouTube? My name is George. Welcome to another video. Yesterday I had an incredible skate session in New York City all day long. If you want to skip right to the skateboarding, that timestamp is right here on the screen. But before that, I thought this would also be a good time just to update you guys about what's been going on in my life since it's been a while since I've just sat in front of the camera. The room is really coming together. I'm feeling super good about the space in the apartment. I'm definitely finally starting to get that feeling of having my home base. I love working in here. As you can see, I'm flanked here by Mr. Snake. That's my snake plant looking super good. And over here is a pothos. So I've been very, very obsessed with house plants lately. And I think it's a direct output of my existential crisis. It's like a new activity to sort of put my energy into. And also just being in New York City, having green in the room just feels really good, makes the room feel better. I even have these little jars right here where I'm actually trying to make babies from both of these plants. So that should be really exciting. We'll see if it works out. I'm a beginner. Aside from that, I've I've just been loving living on my own in New York City. I've been skating very, very often. Cooper Skate Park is now pretty much my local skate park. It's not that close, but it's close enough to be the skate park that I'll just go to when I need a casual session, which is great. I'm starting to develop that local skate park energy there where you can just hop into the park, you know where all the cuts and corners go and you can just shred it up. I do feel more motivated than ever to skateboard often because that's like my grounding force in life and I think it's so cool to constantly feel the progress and I have been feeling really good on the skateboard. I think actually being out of college and YouTube being my full-time job lets me skate even more which is awesome and I can feel that every time I step on the board I'm just feeling very comfortable. Can't believe I've learned back tails like I feel like that's very representative of this new life that I'm in and I really do feel like I'm in this new life. It certainly started at college graduation I mean, that's the type of life event where just everything changes. I mean, I was just put into this just vast expanse of life. And now I'm here in New York City. I have full time to work on YouTube and everything else that that comes with skateboarding. Still figuring out life in many ways. I mean, you know, I'm 22, almost 23. Adulthood is still pretty fresh. It is exciting. There is definitely an existential crisis, existential anxiety element involved with this whole growing up thing that has been pretty dominant in my brain lately. Lately, and it almost feels wrong just to post the skating in this video without talking about how much I've been thinking about this, which is why I wanted to bring it up. I want my YouTube channel and social media presence to be a raw reflection of myself. It's funny, actually, Chad Caruso, who is going to be in the session that you're going to watch later, was somebody who really inspired me to really, really make my YouTube channel a reflection of myself. I mean, from day one, I've seen YouTube as a memory bank, something that I can look back on and re-experience memories. For example, now that college is already getting further and further into the past, I'm extremely grateful that I have videos and vlogs and memories, even documentation of where I was at in my skateboarding progression from the college years. I think it's so cool that I can look back on that. And I'm also making videos now of my first year living on my own in New York City. These videos will be here for me to look back on. So I think that being my true self is going to be the best way to really capture what I was going through. And I think that's going to be the best way to to relate to people out in the universe because this is real life, you know? Like, my whole life is not just skateboarding. It's a huge part of it. It's that constant in my life that I'm so passionate about, but, you know, there's so much to life. And uh, right now, an existential crisis is a big part of that. I think what it comes down to is that as a student, my purpose was very clear. It was just to experience and learn, and I was just very solidly in that position as a student. But as soon as graduation hit, especially since I'm not following a traditional corporate career ladder, which gives you those goals to look forward to. I just kind of see life now as this vast expanse of time. Like every morning when I wake up, I feel anxious. I'm like, there's this wide open day. What the heck? You know, I'm, I mean, part of me wonders how not every single person is always having an existential crisis because I mean, we're, we're alive. We're human beings. Like, I don't know. How do you just process that? For me, skateboarding really eases that tension in my brain because it's something to always be working on and getting better at and that really really eases me and on days when I don't skate I have all this time to just think about life and what it means to be alive and I get very overwhelmed I go on my phone way too much scrolling through Twitter all of that you know just just going crazy in my own head and it's not good for me part of me wonders if my mental health relies too much on skateboarding like is that the only thing that is keeping me sane and from just going crazy thinking too much etc you know I need
need to learn better how to be in the present moment. I think I'm really good at it on the skateboard and I think I can be a lot better at it in other aspects of life, especially when I wake up and I perceive the vast expanse of the future. It's like, how do you deal with that? Yeah, I'm turning 23 next month, which is crazy. You know how when you're a kid, you just, you feel so much like a kid, like you're just a kid. But now I'm aware of how fast four years can fly by. I mean, college was the fastest thing that ever happened to me. So now I know that the next four and the next four and the next four are gonna keep going and going. I started a podcast. <laughs> There are actually four episodes out now. It's every other Thursday. It's called Dropping In with George Poulos. Search it wherever you listen to your podcast. I was not planning to plug the podcast right now. It just it just came out. I try to flush this stuff out. Like we're in our 20s, like what the f you know? Yeah, with that all said, I'm still super motivated by skateboarding, YouTube. I love what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm gonna do it forever. I think definitely for the next five years. I do feel like this has an impact, especially when I'm keeping it real, especially videos that are like teaching skateboarding or providing my mindset tips that help me through skateboarding or just life. I think that's meaningful, especially when I see those comments of people who are like, you inspired me, you helped me learn this, etc." Yeah, and I'm still, I'm very motivated by expanding my social circle meeting people I'm definitely starting to adopt the philosophy that all we have is each other because the world is very confusing like why is this shit all here you know but at least we are all together we can share this experience just like how experiencing that senior year with all of my peers was it really brought us together because it was insane but we had each other to go through it so I think it's crazy that colleges are closing down man I feel terrible I really do it's so sad on a more positive note I feel like I'm really getting a grasp of my organizational system them. I have post-its on the wall and they're all grouped by category like Instagram posts, video ideas, personal things, social things, things I need to buy. They're all in these different sections. I just feel like I have a nice grasp on like the multitude of tasks that I always have to do and that at least has given me a sense of calm. Yeah so I'm a little bit less overwhelmed in that sense but that has created room to be overwhelmed about the meaning of life. But you know what you're gonna do. Anyways hopefully that wasn't too much of a bummer. I mean this is life. Let's get to the skate session. It was a freaking great time. I really really do live for moments like the amazing session I had yesterday and you're about to see it. We started the day at the LES skate park, partly because Matt DG was actually skating New York City for the first time, so we wanted to give him that quintessential experience. The park was super empty, which is awesome, and we got these clips. <laughs> After the session at LES, we fueled up at the deli and then hit some street spots. And it's funny, we actually randomly ran into the Chinatown banks. We were not planning to go there. Ended up getting a full session. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> there you go, bro. Move along, not for long. Every 
so we ended up here at the Chinatown Bank's famous New York City spot. Matt, what do you think of it? Yeah, this spot is intense. Look at the cracks. Yeah, Danny. Oh, there, we got that right there. Do you feel like this is the New York experience that you were looking for? It's so like cliche New York right now <laughs> that DC is not this crusty. Oh yeah? This is like, you gotta come here and experience this. Every spot in New York has something viciously incorrect about it that yeah. makes it very hard yeah. to skate. Yeah. A lot of foot traffic here. For sure. So it's funny, we were heading from LES to Columbus Park, a different street spot, happened to come across this spot and we literally just got a full on session here. Um, and I love that spontaneous energy of skateboarding. Uh, super just euphoric and refreshing and yeah, good sesh. Now to the next spot. All right, then we made it to Columbus Park, the spot we were originally going to. And I was just planning to dork around and skate flat ground, but Chad offered me 20 bucks if I landed caveman board side first try. So here's how that went. It's not bad. How much? How much? If he lands at this go. All right, George, 20 bucks on this try. Chad even hyped Danny up to try front board by offering him a hundred dollars if he stuck at first try. And shout out to Danny for putting down some pretty good attempts. The last spot we hit was the seaport, and by this point in the session, my phone actually died, which I really appreciated because it forced me to stop checking it for no reason and just appreciate the rest of the session and spending time with these awesome dudes. Oh, you were right next to me, so why couldn't I reach you? Thought I had a confession, now my feet are steady placing the floor. Guard down a little bit, got hit with an arrow, waiting for yours and the fall. I appreciate the style of filming less though because yeah. it's more intentional. Sniper angle. Test, 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 test that you may have seen here on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> 